Hi, it's Brooke Hoover here. I've just learned a song by Colby Calais called Fallen For You that one of my students, we learned it um, a few weeks ago and um, I think we did capo four using C shapes and we just did a uh, lesson on Zoom and I had I got to spend a little more time with the song before our lesson and I realized there's no capo. So it's some super cool chords. I'll show you what it sounds like. Ah, lost my pick. It happens. So that's figure one, that's the verse. And I'm gonna show you, and chorus. So I'm gonna show you those chords. Um, this E is gonna be your index finger at the seventh fret of the fifth string. That's an E note. Then your ring finger goes to uh, ninth fret of the fourth string. Pinky is on ninth fret of the third string. So you've got this awesome shape here. Can you see? Okay. And that's, once again, it's a zero, n zero, seven, nine, nine, zero, zero. And so we're trying to keep that strumming hand pretty loose. Don't be using your elbow to, to bash it. It's just this light, loose, no tension in your uh, strumming hand. Keep these fingers kind of loose. And it sounds beautiful. The second chord, you're gonna take your middle finger, go to the eighth fret, third string. So index and ring stays the same. So the first chord, to the second chord. So that's middle finger, third string, eighth fret, plus index, seventh fret, ring, ninth fret. So that's a seven, nine, eight. Can you see it? Seven like it was before, nine on the fourth string, eight on the third string. The rest are open. So really, watch how it goes. So index and ring stay the same. You just trade pinky for middle. And that might be a little tricky, but just go slow. So you don't have to be strumming, really. So I recommend just whole notes go. And when you're ready, move to the next chord. All right, cool. The next chord is gonna be just like an F, which I teach my students this F like this, which is really F major seven but it really works for F. I'm trying to make it so you don't have to do a bar chord. You just go index, middle, ring. Index is on second string, first fret. Middle is on third string, second fret. Ring is on fourth string, third fret. And you're gonna hit four strings. Okay, I'm gonna call that F, even though it's really F major seven, that's okay. So now, follow along, we're gonna do that F, take it up two frets, hit four strings. That's like a G6, but we'll just call it G. Go two more frets, and you've got the third chord in the song. So it's, I'm talking about a shape here. Here's an F shape, bring, bring it up, and that's where I'm trying to get you to be. So I'm just teaching you the shape here. It's like an F that you slide up. So I'll, pl I'll play the song up to that point.
So that's an F shape. So once again, this you got E, E major seven, this A, which you can hit five strings. This is gonna be cool. Just take it two frets up and you got your fourth chord, which is like a B chord. So that's a seven, eight, nine. Second string index, third string middle, fourth string ring. If that's too hard for you right now, don't worry about it. Just go, we're gonna slow it down and just go like. And when you're ready to move, just do this, second chord. The third chord. And the fourth chord. Real slow, just hit one strum and let it ring. Let's do it again. So we could call those whole notes. Whole notes count for four beats. So if you want to count one, two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four, switch. Two, three, four, switch. Two, three, let's do it again. One, two, three, four, switch. Two, three, four switch two three four switch two three switch two three four switch i can't stop let's do it again <laughs> So those are whole notes. You may, if you want to do half notes, it'd be like one, two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four, switch. Two, three, four, switch. Two, three, four, switch. Two, three, four. Whoops, I forgot one. One, two, three, four, switch. Two. Three, four, switch. One, two, three, four, switch. Cool. So, uh, yeah, I don't think there's any escape from. Uh, we did it pretty thoroughly, so I don't think you can not get that um, with a little practice. You know, these chords are so cool because you've got the open strings. If you had to do it in the key of F, you'd be just like, wow, impossible. So, key of E is especially easy. So that's figure one, which is your verse. It's your intro, verse, and chorus. But there is a figure two, which is a little more involved. Let's see if I can read my writing. I wrote it out this morning. Here I go, I'm gonna go. So that might take a little more work, figure two, but we can get you there. Um, I'm playing, I kind of simplified the A and B chord in figure one, but we might need to do the real deal on uh, figure two. Don't you hate that? You haven't been told the whole truth. <laughs> um, Let's see how, I'm gonna try to think of the best way to do this. Uh, so, I like my thumb coming over the top. That seems really strange for a lot of people, but it's, watch me do it again. I'm gonna go. All right, 
so it's getting a little harder here. Let's just see if we can get you moving in that direction. Um, I'm gonna see if I can take the thumb out. Let me let me keep it on the easy side. I think we can do that. All right. So, all right, here it comes. For figure two, I'm going to use my middle and ring. Middle is at the uh, sixth fret, third string. Ring is seventh fret, fourth string. Going to hit uh, five strings. That's on A2. Now I'm going to go to a G sharp minor. Have no fear. This is index and ring. Index is at fourth fret, third string. Ring is at sixth fret, fourth string. All right, just look at that shape. Once again, it's index, third string, fourth fret, ring, sixth fret, fourth string. So that's a six, four, zero, zero. It's just a shape. You can handle that. Just two fingers. Now you're going to take it two frets down to F sharp minor. Same thing. That's a two and a four. Index and ring. Third string, fourth string. You're hitting four strings. We're calling that F sharp minor. It's really something else. It's F sharp minor, like sus two, seven or something. Now we're going to take it back up to the G sharp minor, which is six, four, zero, zero. And back to the A2, which is seven, six, zero, zero. Now it moves kind of quick. It goes. That's a G sharp minor to a C sharp minor. <laughs> it's, I feel like. This is getting a little crazy, but it's okay. Here's your ring and index. Ring is at fourth string, sixth fret. Index, third string, fourth fret. G sharp minor. Now, okay, this is gonna be cool. Keep it like that. We're gonna add pinky on third string, sixth fret, and middle, Second string, fifth fret. You're hitting four strings. So that line goes. Again, it's A2. G sharp minor to C sharp minor. C sharp minor is like six, six, five. Six. Six, five. Then you got an F sharp minor, which is the uh, four, two, zero. And it moves quicker to G sharp minor, A two, and the B sus four. So that's uh I'll do, this is figure two, I'll do the whole thing. I realize it's getting a little thick here. Here I go. Oh, and then you're back to figure one. All right, and there is a figure three. That's like, uh, C sharp minor seven, which I think I'll do C sharp minor. F sharp minor. A two. G sharp minor. 
and a B suspended four, or the B, and that's figure three. So there's three parts, figure one, figure two, figure three. And so figure one's pretty easy. Let's just review that and I'll, I'll wrap it up. So if you get that much, that's cool. And you know, let me know how you're doing. I could redo this or try to write something out and send you something if possible. But let me know how it's going. This is my notes I made for the song. Scribbled it out quick. All right, if you wanna do a Zoom lesson, let me know. We can do this in person and I'll help you out. Very glad. If you wanna uh, give me a little couple of pennies, you can look me up on Venmo. I'll try to put a link down there. All right, I'm gonna post it. I'll see you later.